Hi, Cross Stitchers. This is <clears throat> Stitching to Connect Annie. I believe this is my 32nd video. It is Tuesday, April 12th. I think it's the 12th. It is Tuesday, April the 12th. It's a beautiful day in Colorado. It's a little overcast, so it's a good day for um, uh, filming because the sun's not so bright on me and I can have the windows open it. It's all good. So I hope you're finding um, yourself well, healthy, enjoying your spring, however that happens to be. I am growing my bangs out. So I apologize if I touch my hair a lot and keep it out of my eyes because I'm in the process of growing my bangs out. Um, just wanted a change. Had bangs for about three years and I was ready for a change. So, But I touch my bangs a lot. So... <laughs> But I have also realized now with um, COVID ramping up a little bit as far as the East Coast goes, it hasn't really hit Colorado yet. Got to quit touching my face because um, hopefully we're not going to go into another surge. I'm hopeful. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I just wanted, this probably won't be a very long one today because my sister was here last week. Um, if you saw my last video, I found out when... I was filming that she was coming for sure. There was a little bit of a <clears throat> delay in figuring out if she was going to be able to be here. And she came. She came um, a week ago yesterday. She was here till Friday. We had five glorious days, four and a half glorious days. Um, her plane was delayed getting in, but it was all good. <clears throat> we had a lot of wind and kind of cold, so we didn't get out a lot. Like I had hoped we could like take walks and enjoy the spring, but it was way too windy and cold, which is kind of unusual for for us with the wind. Um, I don't even mind walking in the cold, but when it's windy and cold, no thank you. Um, <clears throat> so she was here. I apologize. My throat is, again, kind of scratchy. <clears throat> Drinking milk probably isn't going to help. Um, so she was here and I stitched with her, but didn't get a lot of stitching done. Um, so I'll go over, I think it was, I think it's been almost two weeks, maybe 10 days since I last, um, I did, it was looking at my calendar. I floss tubed. Wow. It's been two weeks tomorrow. I can't believe it. I don't know where the time goes. Don't know where the time goes. Of course, my sister was here for a week, so that made a difference. Anyway, um, so, I've, so I've stitched on three things. So um, I'll, talk, I'll talk more about my visit with my sister at the end if you're interested. So I'll just jump into my stitching right now. While I was, while she, my sister was here, I stitched on Modern Folk Embroidery, The River, which came out, I believe, in... Um, November or December box uh, was November's box, I believe, uh, Black Needle Society box called The River. It says, the river that flows in you also flows in me. I was reading this today. I was trying to figure out if this was um, the thread I was using or what they called for with the thread and the fabric. And I was looking in... Um, So, yeah, what's the November box? It was done by um, Jacob DeGroff, who is the modern is modern folk embroidery. If you get a chance to watch his floss tubes, they're very interesting. He's very he gives you a lot of history on kind of where his designs come from, and I'll read a little bit of this because I don't know that anybody's done that, but it says. Earlier this year, I was approached by the Black Needle Society. If I was interested in designing something for their November box, I was, of course, honored, and the pattern you see in front of you is what I created. This is where it gets interesting. It was inspired in part by Scottish samplers, which often would start with an alphabet and numbers. I have included numbers up to 19, but you could choose to stitch family initials after the number 10. 
um, and you could even add another row if you wanted to add more of those. A border with a meandering band is followed, separating the deer and the lilies. I did not realize um, that this was a river, which I thought was kind of cool. This is what he's talking about, this meandering border. That's a river which goes through the deer and the lilies is what he's um, referring to. So I learned that. Um, the band to me looks like a little river, a little like a river, which seems appropriate with a saying on this sampler. The saying is attributed to the 15th century Indian mystic poet and saint Kabir Das. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I think it is. And simple lines about the unity of all really appeal to me. To keep the design a little in this world of Kabir, I chose to design a large pot of flowers inspired by examples seen on Persian and Indian paintings and murals. So that would be this motif. And um, he didn't address the bottom part, but it probably was um, a reference to those also. Anyway, I hadn't read that before. I thought it was really interesting. I didn't find the, the information I was looking for because it came um, with this thread, which is really, really beautiful thread. Okay, and that was dyed especially for, I believe it was, I'm not remembered, forgotten, I don't remember now, I'm sorry, I apologize that I don't remember what the thread was, especially dyed uh, for, and it doesn't say in here. doesn't say in here anyway it's a good it's a good size piece but one of the um, groups I'm in that we do zoom calls one of the gals she said that if you stitch 185 stitches a week you can get it done in a year so she had it figured out by dividing the amount of stitches because he included the amount of stitches in it so this is my piece so far so when I last stopped I had not this, not this, not this, just this, um, the river part done up to here. And while my sister was here, I stitched this whole bottom across up over to about, I think I was at 14, about here. I stitched one lily, one deer, and part of another lily. And then last night I stitched 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I'm almost to 19, this is 18, I'm almost to 19. So I will have stitched all the way across and all the way across. Um, I'm still not quite caught up. I ended up stopping stitching about the middle of February. Um, some other things came up. I was gone for retreat. I just didn't st stay caught up. Um, I had been stitching every week. I was every Sunday when I was watching football and that was kind of cool. So I could kind of definitely get in my 185 stitches. 185 stitches is almost, is about a length of thread. And when I refer to a length of thread, I refer to, I'm doing two over two. I believe this is 18 count Fortnite fabrics, 18 count, um, 16 or 18, maybe it's 16. Um, anyway, I'm doing two over two. And when I consider a length of thread, I consider a length and I pull it out like it's about a yard. My arm, I have pretty long arms for my size and I'm about a yard. And from all my sewing, I know my, my, from the tips of my, from the tip of my thumb to my shoulder is a yard. So about a yard of thread. And, but when I say a length, I don't just mean the one set of two threads, I mean the whole set of the six threads. So that's three times you're threading your needle. Um, Pam from Land of Good Enough was talking about, was watching her YouTube today and she was talking about what is a length of thread? For some people it's one, for her, for her, it's um, one set of two threads from a length. For me, a length of thread when I think of it is one set, is one whole length but all six threads, so three, two, four, six. So three um, times you're threading your needle. 
That's what I think of it as. All that to say, I it's about 150 stitches for me to do those three lengths. Three, I'm sorry, three sets of two in one length of thread. So I do one length of thread, I know I put in almost 185 stitches. And I think I've caught up like maybe three days or three weeks. So it is, I figured it out yesterday, we're 14 weeks into the new year. It's not much of a new year anymore, is it? 14 weeks out of 52 weeks? I always forget, is it 52 or 56? I think it's 52 weeks. Um, and when I started this, no, after, the, after I stitched with my sister, I had seven of 14. So I was half done. And last night, um, or yesterday, I put in um, one more length, so eight. So I have eight of 14 weeks. If I, if I can stitch maybe a length every day or every other day this week, I'll be almost caught up. That's my goal. So that was one of my goals for April, and I'm almost there. And I do love... It's super easy to stitch when I'm watching TV or I'm visiting with my sister or whatever because I'm missing something here that I had because I don't have to change colors and I had never stitched a sampler before and obviously a sampler reflects or has the same motifs again and again. And I thought that'd be boring, but it's not. It's not boring. Now, when I get down here, I'm going to have to be a little more careful with my counting. But when I was doing up here, I could just, I didn't even have to look at my pattern. I could just repeat what I had already. So I had gone this, these two over, then I repeated this one, then I repeated the deer, blah, blah, blah. So on my numbers, my letters, yes, I have to look a little bit at the chart. But it's still not bad especially when I've been doing the ones for all the um, double digit numbers, all the one for like the 12 and the 13, all of those are the same. So that made it super fast too. So it's kind of, this is the first sampler I've done and I'm really enjoying it. All that to say, that's what I did mostly. Then I worked on my Outlander piece the weekend before she came. I think all I had done was fash, done fash. Let me show you what I have here. Gallery. Yeah. So this is, this is the out, sorry about the bar. There we go. This is the Outlander one I'm doing. And last time I just had fash done. So I've done dinner and then I've done the little flowery border under that. Now this flowery border is also above the dinner, dinner fash, which means don't worry or don't, don't fuss, don't, don't be worried, don't concern yourself in Scottish. So I'm kind of on a, I didn't realize that other one was based on Scottish, so I'm kind of on a Scottish, um, a Scottish kick. And as I say that, I think maybe I should start my Highland Coup that um, Miss Michelle Bendy Stitch um, charted, I believe it was last, I think it was last year. Anyway, I have that, I have that pattern. I don't have it right here at hand, but it's super cute. It's a cow in a tartan dress and um, she's Scottish. So I don't know. That's a thought. I have to write that down in my book as a possibility for starting in May, as a May start. So I worked on Dinafash, or uh, the Outlander when I worked on that, and then I did start, hmm. I think I get everything all organized and everything, and then I go to show it to you, and I don't know what I've done with things. Um, I'll show you really quick my palette for my, This is my palette for my Outlander. I pulled all my own threads. 
I believe it calls for DMCs and I pulled all my own threads. So these are the all the threads for the um, floral border, forbidden fibers. They're all, that's what that was. The blue, this was chart was I'm sorry, specially dyed forbidden fiber. I'm almost positive that's correct. Um, for that November chart box, etc. So that came together. It, I I pulled my own fabric, but um, the rest of it. So most of these. I'm gonna sneeze. Pardon me. <coughs> pardon me. Maybe two more will come. We'll see. Um. Yep. <coughs> I'd edit this, but then I mess it up. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to put up with my sneezing. So these are the. These are fun. These are really fun. Doing two over two. I then worked on the fox. And I thought I had him. And I don't see. Oh, there he is. There he is. Everybody knows the fox. I'm sure. That song. Oh, dear. I'm getting low. It's going to be a shorter video than I thought. Okay. There's the fox. I have done... right yeah that's the fox that's his chest there's a little bit of the house that's um the front part of him i'm sorry the back part of him i'm pulling my own colors for that also and those were every that was everything i stitched on so um for all intents and purposes I stitched on three things, which feels pretty good. And I accomplished, pardon me, I accomplished a fair amount too. So, um, just got to notice I'm at 10% power. So this is going to be a shorter, short-ish one. Um, the only other thing I had to really talk about and to show, and do I see them here? How can I... I think I'm so organized and then I get to my spot and it's just like I don't know what I did with it that is really crazy okay I I I'm baffled 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 oh another thing I talked about with my sister while she was here was starting she and I um like Alice in Wonderland my sister's very, very blonde, and no, I didn't get her. She wouldn't sit down with me and record a, a floss tube. I was disappointed. You think I'm blonde? She has white blonde hair, but mine is helped a little bit by um, color. Hers, well, she's eight years younger than I am, but hers is almost pure platinum, and she's always been that way ever since she was born. She was my half sister. Um, my stepmom has Dane, Danish in her background. My mom has Swedish in her background. So we're kind of, and my sister has very blue eyes too. So we look like sisters, um, but or we have a different mother. So it's, it's kind of interesting because people say, well, you're, your sister is right. And I, and, um, they'll go, what's your background? I'll say, She'll say Danish and I'll say Swedish and they go, okay, and then we explain it. Yeah, it's all good. So we both really like Alice in Wonderland and we were um, talking about, what did she, she remembered something. It's always fun to get together with her because she remembers fun things. And she remembered she had an Alice in Wonderland watch that had a blue band. It was a Disney watch, had a blue band and it had Alice written on it and everything. And I said, Oh, I remember that. I helped pick that out. And she goes, what? And I said, I think she got it when she was eight. So I was like 16 at the time. And my mom and dad came and said, what do you think? What should we get um, Marilyn for her birthday? And I said, well, I know she'd really like a watch. And they said, what do you think, Disney? And I said, yeah. And they had kind of Minnie Mouse picked out. I said, oh, no, she has to have Alice. She loves Alice. And, you know, 
blue-eyed, blonde-haired Alice. So that was fun to reminisce and remember that. <clears throat> and so she, when she came, she is stitching on a Bothy Threads Alice where it's the, uh, I want to say, ombre colored fabric. It comes in a kit because all bought. The other thing I learned when she was here is all Bothy threads are kits that you can't just buy them as a chart. So you get the thread and the and the fabric and the chart all in one. And she had ordered it, and it's a uh, like I said an ombre color from I believe blue to green. I'm I'm pretty sure it's blue to green, and it's then it's all done in black um, silhouette. So she worked on that when she was here, which was super cool. Um, easy to do while we visited or watched TV or whatever we did. And so we were, I was talking to her a lot about Alice. And I have shown you before. I have an Alice one that I'm working on. But also I showed her this one. There's not too bad. I'm going to pull it out. Which is Alice. It's a um, Ari Tam Alice. And that is one I would like to start too. So I may start that in May. So I've got two kind of on the books, on the ready, ready to go, ready to stitch. I apologize, I'm digging so much. I had a pair of brand new scissors I wanted to show you. Do you think I can find them? No, so they'll have to be next time, which is just nuts because I pulled them out. And probably when I get up, they'll be sitting, oh, there they are. They were under the side of my pillow that I have behind me. I'm glad I got to show you because these are pretty awesome. I'm not a scissor collector per se, but I saw these and I honestly don't remember if I ordered them from Etsy or Facebook, how I got them. I ordered them in, in March. Let's see if I can find it right off here in my handy book. Scissors. No, nope, I didn't indicate. I don't remember where I saw them. Anyway, I just thought they were beautiful. I have a affinity for rose gold. Now they call these copper on the website, but are those beautiful or what? They're swans, obviously. Very nice scissors, very pointed, very sharp. I do wanna say, I think one has a little bit of a burr, but my, I showed it to my husband. He said, oh, I can file that right down for you. So I said, well, I don't want you to file it too much. I don't want to lose the point or the sharpness. And he said, no, I can take that off pretty easily. In fact, you have a nail a nail um, buffer thing. And he said, I just use that. Came with a really nice this. And like I said, I'm not a scissor collector per se, but I just thought those were beautiful. So I, I talk about no scissors and here I've bought two pairs of scissors in two months. <laughs> I, um, I was gonna say, oh, at um, SCS Retreat, Steel City Stitchers, I bought a pair of ganger scissors, which I'd wanted, embroidery scissors, which I've never been sorry. I'm super happy I got that. So, I definitely wanted to show that. I think I also got another piece of fabric. I know my threads, my forbidden fiber threads are, um, I think they're in the mailbox right now. So I will show those to you next time. So I think, um, so I talked a little bit about a couple of plans I have. Um, I guess I need to start thinking about what I'm going to do for May. A lot of people are doing the May mania, M-A-N-I-A, -A, May. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that. I don't think I'm going to start something new every day. That, I think that would make me a little crazy. So I don't think I want to do that. Um, it's my birthday month. May 3rd is my birthday. So um, last year... I was in D.C. for my birthday. I went mm, four or five days prior to May for my 70th birthday, and I spent almost, well, I spent 10 days at my daughter's and grandkids' house, and that was fun. And when I was there, I ordered my first long dog sampler. Have I started it? No. It's the Gambit one, the one with the chess, and 
I think I would probably start this this start that for my birthday this year so I need to pull I need to order some thread for it some floss now that I've seen a couple a lot of people do long dog samplers I've watched um, Athena do hers uh, it's really beautiful um, and I, I'm thinking I'm gonna do it in the burgundy range um, probably and now that I've worked on this sampler and I've enjoyed it so much I have more of a feel of what what that's like to stitch on fabric and one color of thread that where I don't have to change change colors and how much I like it so I have to pull some I have to order some fabric excuse me I'm slouching and my tailbone hurts <laughs> um, and uh, I think I'll start that for my birthday so that is another start I'll probably make so with those three starts in May Alice what was the other start I talked about I don't recall right now Alice um, now I'm down to 5%. I'm going to have to wrap this up. Okay, that's my plans. Um, so a little bit of life. My sister was here for a week. We stitched. She's also a diamond painter. She brought her diamond painting of Alice. She's Alice when she grows up and she's sticking her head out of the top of the, of the house. And um, she got a lot done because she gets up early. I stay up late and sleep in. So it works out. So she was down diamond painting when I came down the stairs at about nine in the morning and we had breakfast together. And then I would diamond paint with her for a while. Then we would pick something to watch um, movie wise or something. She likes NCIS. So we watched a lot of NCIS when she was here and we just chat, 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 visit, visit, visit. Then we went and got, in our na got our nails and our fingers and our toes done. So that was fun. And, um, like I said, the weather was not conducive to a lot of outdoor activity. So we kind of stayed in. We ordered food in. My husband was um, out of town, short trip, day trips, not home for two or three of the days she was here. And we just had a best sisterly time, diamond painting, stitching, chatting, then had uh, went out with my bestie because she knows her really well. And uh, we had lunch with her. And then we put her. I put her on the plane Friday night. She was gone. Bye. She lives in Sacramento, near Sacramento, Elk Grove, California. So that was just delightful. She had not been here since 2018, December of 2018. So it had been a long time since she'd been here. I've seen her since then several times, but she'd not been to my house. Um, so we had not had... Um, time together at the house. My kitty cat loves her. She's a pet person and she loves animals. So my kitty cat was running back and forth between us stitching. She had a scroll frame. It was kind of on her, propped on her lap. I was using my Lowry um, stand and Sierra would run back and forth between the two of us trying to figure out who whose thread can I get? Who Who is going to put up with me the most? So anyway, all that to say we had a delightful time. It was super fun. So I'm going to wrap this up because I'm <clears throat> short on recording time, I think. And it's been almost a half an hour, so that's good. I hope you find yourself well and healthy and continue to stay that way. And we'll see you in a, um, hopefully a week to 10 days. Maybe it'll be two weeks. But um, this is Annie, Stitching to Connect Annie. Bye for now.